Football at Mount Vernon is a special game, a unique game. It is a rare game. The ones who play it make it so. Football is a mirror of the race of life, reflecting toughness, courage, and self-denial. Those who play it must lay aside every weight and run with endurance. X's and O's on a clipboard are translated into harvest on the field. There's glory in the legends of this faithful life, and there's one who conquered it by blood and strife. So now's the time to work and strain at a sport that builds the spirit and challenges the brain. Do you fear the hostile opposition? Does your heart grow faint? Fix your eyes on the great one who perfected the game. It's a time for achievement, a time for purpose, a time for his glory. All right, somebody got right here, right over here. Let's take care of this. Hey, take this big man. Got it? No. Huh? <laughs> All right, when it come, I want you to take care of the big guy. Got him? Okay. All right. Boys, I want you to show me what you got. Go all the way today. This is it. This is the game. We're not going to mess up this time. Got it? I hope so. All right, let's Thanks go. Good, Coach. Vernon on three. Got it? One, two, three. Vernon! Vernon! Oh. 88 to Mike. 88 to Mike. Send it in Omaha. Here, here. Good job, boys, just like we practiced. Thank you so much. I need a drink. Anybody got some water? Boy, what an outstanding collection of athletes, I have to say. And I have to say, you're, we, we got you cleaned up after getting That was the house. cold. That was cold, man. That's bad. That's bad. Come on. Uh, dude, you... I, you had me convinced that you were Vince Lombardi. I, but what happened to your mustache? Shaved. Oh, morning. okay. I just like that arm. That's good, right? Still got it. I'm not as good as I once was, but I'm as good once as I ever was. So. <laughs> I hope Atlanta's in the Super Bowl. I got a scripture I want us to preach about together today. Okay. And it's about the race. Hebrews chapter 12. Mm -hmm. Verse 1 and 2. Okay. Let's go through that thing. You want to? Sure. Start us off. Since we are... Since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. No cloud well, there's, it's there. high pressure today. There's no clouds here today. I, I think he's probably referring back to Hebrews 11, which is Ooh. the hall of faith, which is the roll call of oh. all the people that God worked through uh, in the Old Testament to bring us all the way to Christ. Mm. All the greats, right there in one chapter. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and and you know the fact is, just like the ball game, there's been great teams before us, mm -hmm. and these today are falling in the line of great teams. Well, it's believers. There's been great believers before us. Mm -hmm. So now, hey, it's our turn. And now, what does he say? Let us also lay aside every weight and the sin which does so which clings so closely to us and let us run with endurance. <laughs> he tells us now, let's get going. That's right. But uh, get rid of the weight. Yeah. Can you imagine one of these football players hauling clubs, golf clubs, around with them, trying to win? And on they got the all, field? On the field. Can you imagine <laughs> what would happen? What would the rest of Get rid of the weight, man. 
And you know what else it says is, is he says, uh, let us run with endurance the race before us. Mm. And that reminds us, you know, Paul, I don't know, he must have been a sports fan because he, he used a lot of metaphors like races and boxing and, and competing for prizes and things. And, and I was thinking, so I was thinking about football, got football on the brain today. And I was thinking, you know, there's, there, there's, there's a battle that is, that is pitched that God has called us into to, to be light in this world and to help people understand how they can be saved, how they can be right with God. Uh, but a lot of Christians don't really get in that game. We, uh, we come to church, we read our Bible, we, we worship on Sunday mornings, but we, we don't actively share our faith. We don't build intentional relations, uh, relationships with people to, to be part of their lives and, and help them to understand how they can flourish mm-hmm. the way God created them to. And it, it made me think of, you know, if you had a football team and all they ever wanted to do was practice. Uh, practice is good, you need practice. But if all they ever did was, was get the team together, meet once a week, memorize the playbook, and then go home, do nothing about it, and then, then come back the next week and, well, we're going to run some more plays, we're going to memorize some more plays in the playbook, and we're going to enjoy being together, but they never played the game, well, that'd be kind of silly. That's right. And, you know, when you play, <laughs> the difference is opposition. Mm-hmm. You've got a whole other string of guys that's trying to keep you from doing what you want to do. And, and you know what? When we run this race for Christ, when you get out there and actually do it, mm-hmm. we have opposition. Mm-hmm. The devil. <laughs> you know, we can look at, as you look at the other team, you say, every one of them are Satan. <laughs> you know, and his demons out to stop me. Well, you know, as Christians, we got that. And that's part of the reason we don't like to play. We just like to practice because once you get on the field, start sharing with people, you know, we got opposition. We got the devil. Mm-hmm trying to say it's rainy tonight it's bad it's cold you can look at tv you don't have to get out there you don't have to share your faith you can just be like everybody else and nobody will oppose you Mm -hmm. and they won't right but when and you know he says run it with endurance Mm -hmm. have you run a marathon uh i have not you know the (laughs) this is free you know the according to legend the first man that ever ran the marathon died from it (laughs) okay okay all right And he says, but do it with endurance. Mm -hmm. Anybody can sprint Mm -hmm. and quit. That's right. And a lot of believers do that. Uh, They don't go in for the long haul. Uh, It's it's a lifetime Mm -hmm. sharing with the Lord. Some people say, well, I did it when I was young, when I had kids. Mm -hmm. It's endurance all the way through. When do we finish? Glory. Amen. When the (laughs) Lord, Lord says, come home. You know, and, and the chapter before, that's what these guys did. Mm-hmm. They did it to death. Mm-hmm. So we endure. We do indeed. And the other thing about endurance, endurance is built in two different places. It, it's built during practice. Yes, right. And so just like sometimes we, in, in, in church, we get in the mode of, of where all we want to do is practice and we're scared to play the game. Well, sometimes we try to jump the gun and hop into the game without the practice, without memorizing the playbook, without knowing That's the right. scripture, without uh, the, uh, the, the, the discipline of, of prayer and seeking God every day and getting up with Him and saying, Lord, what are you doing today and how can I grow today? And, and also, don't forget encouragement. You know, anytime you go to a football game, you're watching the game today, every time somebody makes a good play, and especially when somebody maybe you know, misses an assignment. The other guys on the team are encouraging them. And that's something that's very important that's sometimes mm-hmm. missing in the Christian life. Is we right. need to encourage each other. Just as this cloud of witnesses encourages us, even from, from heaven where they are now, we can encourage each other to have that endurance, to press on. And because, you know, sometimes we're, we're not perfect people, just like football teams aren't perfect. They mess up a play, but the most important play in the football game is the next one. That's right. And when we mess up in life, hey, you can't unscramble the eggs, but you can resolve that going forward, now the next play, the next day, the next relationship, this is going to be right. This is going to be for God. We learn from our mistakes. Mm-hmm. That's why we have them, so we can learn from them. And yeah, that moves us into the next <laughs> verse, looking to Jesus. You know, the team, uh, they get in the huddle, but the coach is the main guy. They can't keep looking at him. Better listen to the coach. You know, you can imagine a football player out there, and 
He's looking at the fans. So what they like that? You, you better you better check with your coach. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and so he says, you know, we're running this race, but look to Jesus. Mm-hmm. Ooh, what does it say about Jesus? He's the what? He's the founder and perfecter of our faith. Wow. Uh huh. <laughs> He's, he's the one that, well, you know, Scripture shares, shares that salvation was uh, before the world was created. Mm-hmm. He, he planned this. Mm-hmm. So he's not only the planner, but he's the one that's able to continue the work of salvation in us, changing us, mm-hmm. the perfecter of it, mm-hmm. till the day we die. That's right. So he says, while we're running this race, keep our eyes on our coach, which is Jesus. That's right. He takes us right where we are when we surrender our life to Him. When we say no to sin and self and yes to Christ and ask Him to forgive us our sins and save us, He does. He drafts us right onto His team and then works in us to sanctify us and make us like Christ so that we can share what we have found with others and they can know it too and be on the team too. That's right. Great coach. (laughs) The best. And and you know, then he, He talks about Him uh, because Jesus has given an example personally of his endurance. Mm-hmm. He, it says, endured the cross. Mm-hmm. Mm. That was not something fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it wasn't something you enjoyed. But because he knew what it was going to result in it, mm-hmm. he endured the cross. Mm-hmm. And not only that, he didn't only endure the cross, but what else did he do? It says he despised the shame. Ooh. It's because it was it was the most humiliating, most shameful way a person could die. That's right. Just strip him uh-huh. naked, folks laughing at you, making fun. In fact, you know that's the very reason some people don't share the Christian life because people laugh at them, mm-hmm. make fun of them. Mm-hmm. So, oh, you're one of those. <laughs> Jesus went through all that. Oh, but today he's seated at the right hand of the throne of God. But he endured. Mm-hmm. He did. He knows when he says, tells us, I want you to endure, Mm -hmm. run the race. That's right. We got the one we're looking to that says, I know what you're talking about. You know, I've seen so many believers encouraged when they go through trials and hard times because remember what Jesus personally went through at the cross and everything else. So you know what? If Jesus could face that pain, that suffering, I can too. And he did that for me, and he did that for you. Amen. And he did that for everybody that's watching us tonight. Maybe, maybe one of you, as we've as we've laid this out, you realize that you don't you don't have that relationship with God, and you're not you're not on His team yet. But you can, Pastor. Why don't you tell them how? Uh, We've disappointed God, disappointed ourselves and our family and everybody else, and and just go and admit it. God, I've sinned, and I do believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you paid the price. I believe you endured for me. And I thank you. And I want you to come to my heart right now. And I want you to help me run that race. I'm going to be looking to you. You're my Savior, my Lord. You do that. What a difference your life will make. And you know right now where you are, you say, well, I'm maybe in front of a TV. It doesn't matter, friend. Uh, In fact, a lot of us got saved from just looking at a TV and praying with a preacher. You can do that. Just say, Lord, I'm a sinner. I do believe in you. I do believe you died for me. Come in my heart right now and save me and live through me. I want to make it the long haul for you, faithful to the end. I give you my life. Here it is. Do that right now. Pastor? Hello, brother. You, did you win? Uh, I was just watching the halftime highlights. Uh-huh. Don't do <laughs> Wait a minute. Vernon on three. Ready? Go! Vernon! You gotta count. You go, you go one, two, three. You said burning on three, we were waiting for you to count. These outtakes are going to be pretty good, aren't they?